Hi, this video shows how to connect my data uh, in my ASP.NET Core React or Angular project to my project itself. So uh, at the moment I have a database, uh, uh, an existing database at behind of my project. So this is my Kodoku where all my tables are and I already uh, included my identity framework. Now I want to connect it into that uh, system. So in my system I have, there it is, uh, in my system I have here my controller, which is my default application, what you saw there. Uh, and now let's start it and we have a look on it. So this is my default application from uh, as a scaffold a default application in ASP.NET Core 5. Now come on. So now it's there and uh, as you see I'm already logged in. I can fetch my data from my from the uh, data example. And now I and that's it, it's based on React. And now I want my data from my database itself. Since uh, this these are not there I in the controllers there's only the weather forecast that's the default and now what we do here is we go to the package manager console we have a look in our startup and in the startup we have the uh, we are connecting our database that's what we already did and now i go back to my to a small uh, text what i said here this is scaffolding Scaffolding means uh, I connect my data to my database or to my project. So I go here to my package manager console, which is here under tools. And then we say control V. So this means scaffold DB context for my server and then my database. And my database in this case is my code docu, code docu de. And trust the connection true since it's local. Um, and I'm not sure if I have to set this one on there. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server output uh, output directory is model, so we want to drop it in there. Now let's try it. I'm not sure. Potential sensitive information in your connection string, you should move it to a source uh, out of the source code. This means uh, you should run it here in the uh, under the secrets. That's what we have here in our secrets uh, secrets JSON, which is in the environment. That's clear. And now we have here, we are here and it said, okay, everything is done. Connection string, that's all. And as you see, the table, the database was connected now into my uh, project and now I have everything in there. I have here the ASP, uh, the identity core framework, which is uh, pretty nice to have all that stuff in there. So, and we are in the code behind, so we are in a, a normal project. And then I have here my, uh, my items are, my items are, where are they? In this case, uh, content that's it's called I called it here table content and in there I have my data now and now I may do uh, write a new controller and the controller is here when you go to controllers uh, that's the API uh, network uh, now we go to controller we say here we want a controller with views uh, using Entity framework. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Wait. Now we go to uh, API. We want the API, not a visual, uh, not a view. And then we go to API controller with actions uh, using entity framework. Yep. That's the default what I think. And then we say model class, and we want to uh, get connection to my content. And inside the content, uh, we say that's we have here the default 
uh, context, kodoku uh, de context, we may write both in the same stuff. Uh, so uh, under the data, data models, okay, it's there in under models. And controller name, table, con uh, table contents controller, maybe this should be a little bit better one, but why not? Now I'm taking this one, it's a default. That's building the controller. There was an error. Install the package, Visual Studio Web Code Generation Design and try again. Uh, it's not running there. So now it's running, as you see, and uh, we have here now our table contents controller, which connects the TBL contents. And whenever somebody types now in TBL contents as an API, then we get here uh, all the content from the table contents. Maybe this is not uh, not the best uh, the best uh, value for for the naming. Maybe I change this uh, with an underscore or something like this because it's uh, it's there. But, uh, but anyways, we have now a get, a put. We will take this together, a post and a delete. 